Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Cinema Suds. This is your host, Bryce. And I'm Carson. And today we're going to be talking about movies and... Beer. A lot of beer. Today we are drinking Ken Rue Blue. It is a... Actually, this is their Belgian white ale. There's no... No uh, a tell, tell of a tale on if they have another ale that they produce. Right. What's it have in it? So, uh... It says uh, orange peel, coriander, and hints of lemon citrus. That sounds pretty good. Product of Belgium, 12 full ounces. <clears throat> Kinru Belgium Ale yep. features a perfect balance of orange peel, coriander, and hints of lemon citrus with a crisp, refreshing finish. Crisp, refreshing Garnish finish. with an orange peel to add to very... Yeah, yeah, I forgot the orange. Ah, yeah. I didn't... I should have read this and had it already <laughs> Yeah. by the time... And this is a budget beer. This is this from is Aldi. Your so standard budget beer. Your standard budget beer from Aldi. Which, Aldi has a big selection, and because we had a lot of Christmas gifts from Lots. Aldi, we're going to be reviewing several beers mm. from the beautiful Aldi Superstore. If you don't have an Aldi in your region, you're missing out. You're missing out. Yeah, you are. Cheap prices, cheap eggs, cheap milk. Cheap everything, And dude. cheap beer. Gosh. You they can buy... Have Tons of produce. Yeah, for very little. They have bottles of wine. They have like their own brand. Yeah, they've it's got called some White great... Owl or, or Owl or, or Whistling Owl like or something like that. Really, it's good. literally like three dollars a bottle. It's a really good. It's really good. Yeah. So somebody peed in it, and they just called it wine. And it was delicious. They did a good job. And thank it, you for that urine. And it was so. It was so. All right, tell us about these new bottle cap openers before we. So Kill the we camera just with these. we had an idea. We're just gonna shoot the shoot our bottle caps at the cameras. Yes. Um. So you just pull it back. Yep. Stick it on. And it's just if anybody should we put the link? Should we become like Amazon affiliates and just put the link? You know, in the description. You know, I really don't like to affiliate with Amazon. Let's not because, do it. Yeah. Let's not. Oh, so this but, just uh, goes. We don't so have to do you anything. Pull it just, back. Okay. You pull. You pull this back right here. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. And then you just stick it on. Uh oh! I'm trying to do mine. Pops Wait, do it I, off? Do it? I do it from the back. All right. Make Wait, sure it's... mine already got popped, so I have to do it again. Right. Wait, did you already get yours in? Yep, it's already You're loaded. In. You're cocked and loaded. Rock cocked and loaded, baby. Mm. And right. it can fall out, too. All right. You can just use the handle. Just pull it up. There you go. Oh, wow, that's in there. Yeah, and it's good. That was really soft. Yeah. Okay. It's cocked and loaded. Let's and shoot so, it. So uh, we're going to see if we can hit this camera yeah, these from are over shooters. here. shooters. Okay. We'll see. Let's check it out. Skeet shoot. Nope. That was pretty good. Almost. Almost got it. All right. I'm going to have it. to do mine pretty high because yeah. yours kind of just did yeah, it Yeah, because I'm right. Oh, yeah, that was shoot. well over. Yours is, a, yours is a long shot there. Don't put me on a shooting range. Yeah. Don't put me in a shooting range. <laughs> Especially with a beer. A Belgian white ale. Delicious. All right, let's try this beer let's before we nice. start talking yeah, let's, about it. Let's uh, give this a shot. Today we're going to be talking about a movie. Yeah. It's a movie, but let's let's, let's have drink a taste. before we talk about this stupid. It smells movie. good. It smells good. Cheers. Cheers. Let's make it. Hey, let's let's clap let's it right in front of it. Hey, let's do it. Mm. Very nice. Oh, I like that. That's not yeah, that was good. That, was that nice. wasn't bad. <sighs> oh, it's nice. That's really well, that's good. That's a change of because we've been drinking an IPA. Yeah, that's pretty heavier finish. This this has a really fruity. This kind of makes me feel like I'm in the Alaskan wild. And this is just like a beer that you'd come home to after you warmed up in front of the fire. It's funny. I feel totally different. I feel like, you know, you're in the rainforest. You're all sweaty. You get back wow. to your camp. and you just Totally different. This thing's ice cold. It tastes so ice good. Ice cold back at your camp with that. a Belgian. Oh, beer. yeah. Exactly. Really? You drink Belgian ale in the Wayne rainforest. I mean, why not? <laughs> somewhere where it's, somewhere, where, you know, you take something that's going to be frigid. You uh-huh. want a beer that's ice cold. Take it out there. You're sweating. There's mosquitoes everywhere. You got dysentery. I get the citrus in it a little bit. I, yeah, I, I, I mean, I get the, I kind of uh, yeah. get the orange in it. Do you taste that? Oh yeah, definitely. It gives me a slight, and, and in no way does it taste like Blue Moon. You know, a raw sliced orange hey, would would be uh, enough citrus. Sorry if you hear some uh, audio yeah, from. He just took a dump, so he's putting that nice dumpy <laughs> butthole right on my yeah. leg. Uh, so this is Walter. Yeah. I'm sure you guys have seen him before if you've watched my other He's channel. He's a mukbang, mukbang bubba. He's a mukbang bubba. Yeah. Mukbang bubba. He is warm, so that is kind of nice to yeah. 
Oh no, he I had him. He body. he was crawling up in here. This thing's a double yeah. XL, so he, he came up here, he was just a space hit. You're like, dude, it's cold in here. I'm like, what? I'm I'm falling oh. asleep, dude. <laughs> okay. So, well, yeah, great beer? beer, excellent beer. Yeah, the beer's have good. it on the beach or in the jungle, man. In the good in the in, in the jungle. Yeah, the Arctic, wherever you want. It's a great beer. In the jungle. In Alaska, I'm not just a huge have this fan beer somewhere. of uh, Belgian white ale, but this one is. Quite I'm not good. either. I don't think I. It's not like I just go and buy them, you know. But it's not like I wouldn't drink one if I had it with me. Yeah. So I'm glad I had this. Certainly. Uh, the next time we have it, we need to have a big old slice of orange. Big old slice of orange. So, are you going to give this one a thumbs up or a thumbs down or a thumb sideways or a thumb yeah? In the I'm going to give this. Gonna uh, I'm going to give this three bananas out of out of twenty out of twenty bananas. No, out of just the number twenty, <laughs> I'm gonna give this. I'm gonna give this an A out of ten. A out of ten. <laughs> an A plus out of ten. This one no, this one's a this one's a good one. Thumbs good. up. Big big thumbs yeah. up. Yeah, this is it's a one out of good. Yep, it's a one out of good. Yeah, definitely. I, this is a thumbs up. This is a good beer. This is a good beer. Thank you, Aldi. Yep, thank you, Aldi. I don't know how much a six-pack yeah, is. Yeah, thanks, Let's, Aldi. Do they have that on there? How much is a six-pack of this? Or sure. do they sell like 12? They don't sell 12 packs, I don't think, actually. Yeah, they sell six-pack of yeah, beer. Yeah, just six packs. Prices vary. They don't want to so have anybody be going out. It cannot be over ten dollars. I can't imagine it would. Because they have they have an IPA that we're going to review in one of our other episodes that um, is like seven dollars for oh. a six pack, and that's that's pretty reasonable. reasonable. I mean, you're paying paying just a little bit of a dollar per yeah. beer. All right, <laughs> get into this stupid <laughs> movie. Let's just get All over right. with this. So stupid. let's get. I'm done. If you got, I'm finished. <laughs> um, if you guys have. I uh, recently watched any of the Disney Plus. You know about The Mandalorian, but that's not what we're talking about. We're just saying The Mandalorian nope. is great. Yep. I want to say that first. Consensus. Um, uh, the Force Awakens, you know, not very good. It was it's, better than the it rest. It did not awaken me. Um, the Last Jedi, ugh, was bad. Yeah. was bad. I thought The Last Jedi was better than The Force Awakens, yeah. although I didn't love The Last Jedi. I thought The Last Jedi was okay. I thought right. The Force Awakens just was like, nah. Yeah. I'm good. <clears throat> I'm good. Yeah. You know. <laughs> and what was the first one in the trilogy called again? Do you remember? That's The Force Awakens. And what's the second one then? Uh, the Last Jedi. And then The Force uh, Awakens, the Rise Last of Skywalker. Jedi, and then The Rise of Skywalker. Right, right, which is what we'll be discussing. Which is what we're talking about. We just saw it recently. The first I saw it one last night. was the best one. It just it can, It's kind of like every other trilogy ever. The first one's... Yeah. The better one. It's not, and then uh, it just goes downhill. It's not easy to review a giant piece of shit, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we're gonna try. I'm, so I'm done. And yeah. the thing is, is some Star Wars fans, like some Star Wars fanatics, just any choice that the directors make, they're in it, dude, and they I mean, love it, and they yeah. just read and read. This and movie read, released, like, oh, and there was mass suicide. Oh. Yeah, and okay, People just killing so, themselves. Over and we it. have to put the Mandalorian in this for a second. Course. Be, and there's going to be a spoiler for the Mandalorian. A uh, baby Yoda, a, a baby you... Yoda spoiler. Um, yeah. And you have to mention this because it doesn't make sense if we talk about this <sighs> for the Rise of St- Skywalker. Yoda in that uh, show healed that dude, and right. um, and I never up until that point. And I actually wasn't caught up on it before I went to see Rise of Skywalker, so I hadn't even seen the fact that the Force can heal people. Yeah, well, I've and known that. Yeah, oh, wow. okay, well, you knew that. But you, okay. it raises questions then again. Why did Anakin need Palpatine so bad to help save um, Padme? I mean, she's like, I'm going to die in childbirth. It's just like, oh, my God, right. i got to be evil. She's like, why don't you just heal me with the Force? He's like, oh, yeah, fuck, I didn't think about that. It just it doesn't carry over to the any of the other movies. Not to mention, all of these movies seem like everything was just written very last minute. He wants to come over to you, bud. Okay. Come he here, Walter. He wants to come over there. Go over there, Bubba. Come on over here, you sweet little. Come on. All right. Come here. But, yeah, no, it didn't. Walter, come. Go over there. What do you want? No, over here. Come here. Put him inside you. Come here. Put him inside you. <laughs> come here, Walter. Mm, he wants come to on. be in you, dude. Walter, come. Wow. He is not having it, Walter, dude. what are you doing? He was only looking at you while ago. Okay, but. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I have a problem when I do that with the mics. Um, so yeah, the I just I'm good on the whole thing. I oh. really am. Well, you sound way better now. Yeah, I really am good on the whole thing. Okay. Um. Yeah, I I don't. Yeah, I'm definitely over it. It's, Would you it's, see uh, it again? 
Uh, no, no, I wouldn't. I don't need to. I know uh, it haunts my dreams, so I see it every night. <laughs> <laughs> um, so okay, uh, let's let's start from the beginning. I mean, let's oh. just start, it opens up where it, the middle should a part where it, it should it, be in exactly, the middle. Exactly, because that was the last thing that you saw before the movie came out. Spoiler as far as the spoiler alert, trailer. Guys. Spoiler alert. So it took you inside of his little lair, or whatever that is, on that planet that no one can get to, that you didn't know that was a planet until the movie came out, allegedly. Get over there, dude. Watch it come. Oh, my God. You want to hang out? Come on, bud. He just wants to hang out. <laughs> he doesn't even care So they about took you me. inside the lair, right? Right. And uh, inside the spoiler trailer. And you thought, okay, well, this is going to be a part of the movie that's probably in the middle of it, or... Like, not, you know? Right. And um, he's, like, breathing heavy into the mic, dude. So, cue Kylo Ren in his ship, finding some artifact that leads him to a planet uh, known as Exicle. Yes. Which is Gay-sickle. a stupid fucking name. Stupid. Egg-sickle? Stupid. Come on, guys. So, he gets there, and it's just like a... It's like any Sith-heavy planet, or, you know, if you've ever played KOTOR, it's just like those fucked-up planets you always end up at the end. Where yeah. Everything's massive, massively destroyed. It's just a massive. And they've got some hidden fleet, yep. which you don't know about yet. And yeah. and uh, and it or, could be cool. Like it, it could be really cool sure. until he walks up and sees Palpatine hooked yeah. up and his fingers all dis. So that what was explain figured. to me what what Matt even meant because for me Palpatine died, right, ages already ago. ages ago, right. Palpatine died in like the third movie ever made. So. Right. Well, not to mention the prequels and everything. But yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. But yes. yeah, that's what I'm saying. So Palpatine's alive all through the Mandalorian. Yes. Yeah, allegedly. Allegedly. That's what they're making you believe because the Mandalorian is what five Which years is not after fair. five years after. You don't force me to believe that. I don't believe it. Yeah. So then uh <sighs> Rebel Base, the Millennium Falcons flying through, doing like these crazy warp jumps and shit. Yep. I don't Light jumping is what they call it. I'm good. I'm good on the whole movie, dude. I I mean, and really what ruined it for me was the kiss and then the death and then the... You know what really, really fucked Did that it not up? ruin it for you? Because talk- everybody in the movie theater in the, that I was in, for the most part, was just... They, they, they rolled their eyes. Like well, I them. saw it at, like, you know, I saw the kiss at, like, 1.45 a.m. Oh, There okay. was nobody fucking in that theater, so it was all base to my opinion except for that one motherfucker you motherfucker in talking the back to you, dude. talking to yourself the whole fucking movie yeah fucking irritating as hell I just I don't know dude that whole kiss at the end really really I think I'm good you know let's not let's not get ahead of ourselves yeah okay. um, keep, so keep going. let's uh let's, so they do that the Knights of Ren yep. I thought the Knights of Ren were gonna be so cool yeah super cool and they weren't nope they were so dumb. They looked like a bunch of hockey players or some shit. <laughs> so dumb, With dude. these space hockey playing gear on. What would you think of Kylo's new no. helmet thing? No. Dumb. What is, why is it glowing red on the outside? What is I that I don't know, but here's the thing. Why are you going to make that cool helmet if he's not going to be here with us any longer? Yeah, exactly. Like, we need that villain the whole time. If One last burst of strength before he dissipates, I guess. Before he just starts being a, you know. Yeah, an absolute. Mm. Um. Right. Yeah. So they do that. Right, and then Ray, they, they've got to go get this Jedi. I don't know. It, I want to say Jedi holocron because I see them all the time playing like Kotor and shit like that. But it's not. It's some map. Yeah. You know, and it's gonna lead them to Exicle. Yep. And there's only two of them ever made. Right. And, two ever yeah. made. All of Kylo has one. And then he. They, then she goes. Kylo to the, found it in the first because that was the he, opening scene. He went right? there to find it. Yeah. The opening yeah. scene. He went he, there. He found it. He goes and like kills all these indigenous people on some fucking. Right, planet. and the crazy thing is, it's like where did it didn't give you any backstory as to how he got there. It didn't, which sucks. Well, we never get backstory of shit. We never get. It. I mean, it's like, dude, Luke Skywalker was the Jedi, and the little bit of backstory that we get is him training Leia. Yeah, and you get to and see these like, young CGI the la- faces. This was the last thing that Luke was working on. Yeah, this of planet. Mark Hamill and Carrie Fisher. Yeah, and then they're like, and that's that's how they set it up. Was the saying that this uh, this map was the last thing that Luke was wor- you know working on. Like he, the last movie made you think that Luke was just at that uh, at, at that isolation point out there in the water, you know, in the thing. Uh, it it kind of just made you think that he was out there, 
just doing nothing. Right, at the Gain temple strength of the first or Jedi or whatever. Yeah, I mean, it didn't, it didn't even give you any any insight into that's what he was actually doing, was trying to find this map to this Death Star. It just it felt really wild and twisted and yeah. out, of, out of place. It's like you didn't know that he – and she's like, I'm going to finish what he started. It's like, motherfucker, if he was looking from it yeah. since after it, he killed Vader – it to, to now it and he just like gave up. It seemed like a lot of this was written, like. What are you doing? Dipshit? It seemed like a lot of this was written after. After the movie, you know. Yes. After it, and it, it didn't seem like they wrote this. They wrote this whole trilogy. It's like I'm filming. Somebody doesn't like something. Guess we're gonna rewrite it yeah. right now. You it guys felt are getting really new lines together for me. Absolutely, definitely. Like, oh, we're we're gonna. We're, I guess we made so much money on the last movie. We'll film another one. And I know that they had to have something in their back. Next Star Wars release is 2022, for just any movie. I don't know what's any coming Star out. Any Star Wars is coming know. out. It better be. It better be the director for the Mandalorian. It better be fucking. Oh, you're talking about John Favreau. Yeah, but she's great. Or he's the he wrote the Mandalorian. Yeah, which is great. I just oh, fuck that Star Wars movie, man. I just can't. And I want to like it because it's Star Wars, you know. Of course, of course you want. And Palpatine's in it. Star and you Wars got was the great. Old Luke, and then you got Leia. In there you know what? I will she's say dead now the best and- part about these movies is. What? It makes people appreciate the prequels more. Yeah. Which I never had a problem with the prequels. No. Maybe the young Anakin and the pod racing shit. That no, was a little. No, 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 and then no. the end of the second movie where. Jar Jar. Uh, useless a, fucking Okay. I'm, we're not talking about Jar Jar. <laughs> we're not talking about. <laughs> oh. oh, gosh. The the best thing that ever came from Jar Jar was Bill Burr's line in The Mandalorian saying, what are you, a Gungan? <laughs> that was the, the best line. What are you, a Gungan under that helmet? That's great. That was fantastic. Shout out to Bill Burr. He's awesome. Great comedian. I loved you in The Mandalorian. It was fucking hilarious, dude. Dude, Bill Burr, that was great that he was in The Mandalorian. I yeah. thought that was fun. Bill Burr is one of the funniest comics out I there. I loved him know. in Breaking Bad, too. Yeah. No. Yeah. He's fucking hilarious. Anyway, so. <clears throat> right. They do all this. Okay, so what, was, what of, were we talking uh, about? Finn and what's his little girl's name? Rose. Okay, Lord. so the, the story recently came out that Rose didn't get enough FaceTime in the movie. She got, like, just a little over a minute. Out of that two and a half, whatever it was, hour movie. And, uh, what? I just, does she need a bigger role? I don't think so. I mean, it's like, well, they made it seem like at the end of the first one, she kisses him and me and Finn are going to have a relationship yeah. now. Yeah, and they kind of did away with that. Yeah. I mean, if anybody needs to have a relationship in that movie, it needs to be... Ray. No, fuck that. It needs to be <laughs> Poe and Finn. Oh, yeah. I ship that, dude. Make those motherfuckers kiss each other. Yeah. Just hurry up and do it. And Okay, and who was our new robot fixing uh, guy? Oh, my need? God. What was he his was fucking fun. name? He was a good little character. Like Zigor Bobble Blip. Who the fuck knows what? I, don't, I can't. He was, he was a fun little character. He, he was, was your baby. He Yoda reminds me of, of uh, Zach Hadel. He reminds me a lot of Zach Hadel. Who is that? Um, he's, a, he's, he's a funny YouTube comedian. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Hangs out with Chris O'Neill. Sorry, Zach. Um, yeah, sorry, Zach. I loved your part in the in the show, in the movie, though. It was really good. You did really good <laughs> talking all that gibberish. Um, uh, so when an android goes bad, uh, here's how you program it. Its eyes turn red. Yeah. That's how you know. Yeah. That's how you know an android goes okay, bad. Okay, and who is the girl? Okay, I, I'm bad with names on these, dude. Who's the uh, original fighter guy? Who's 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 in the who's in the clan? What do you mean? Uh, He's he's in the resistance. Oh, you're talking about Poe Dameron. Poe. Poe Dameron. Yeah. Best pilot for the resistance. Yes. Poe. So, him and he hangs out with that. They go to that planet to do something where he gets fixed. The uh, where C three PO gets. Um, right. They're they're going. They they see one of Poe's uh, ex girlfriends. You find out that. Yeah. Was that a girlfriend? What was that? I don't that know. Some kind of weird too, sexual dude. tension between. The only both force of them. that I felt. In he's this like, movie. hey, can I kiss you? And she's just like, uh. No, I'm retarded. You can't do that. Yeah. Well, I'm just the only force that I felt in this movie was things that were forced upon me. Sure. It didn't. It didn't feel. <laughs> it didn't feel good. And then talk about the they force. totally. I mean, I think they they hinted at it, of course, right? Because at the end of the movie, right, we get we they all they get to the planet. They destroy a lot of the things. She goes. Ray goes down, um, into Palpatine's lair, and uh, uh, meets him. And he's like, "Kill me, and you'll become me." And then she's like, "I don't know." I will say the lightsaber duels in this uh, aren't aren't bad, right? They're not bad. No, they're not as good as say Obi Wan versus Darth Maul. Oh my god! But uh, they just uh, can't reenact those, dude. Nah, it's just 
It's too good. Uh, although I will say, and, and spoiler alert for the Mandalorian, have to say this really quick. Yep. Uh, super excited about the uh, the dark saber being canon. Um, it was the very first Mandalorian Jedi's weapon. Yeah. Super cool. Super awesome. Just hate that Moff Gideon uh, is in possession of a Mandalorian weapon. Yeah. It's a little irritating. Yeah, it is. But yeah, I mean, uh, all in all, she right. We're we're at the part where she goes down there. She's he's like, I'm gonna you know, you kill me, you're good. Yeah, he's like, kill me, Ray, and she's like, no, I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then she, they do that weird backhand off thing with the lightsaber. That was weird. Yeah, and uh, she he, puts it behind he her goes head away. and it disappears, and then Kylo has it, and they're not even close yeah, he, to each other. Yeah, he fights, and then he falls down this cliff thing. You think, oh my god, he's dead. Yeah. And uh, then they're not, and then he comes back, and they kiss, and no, oh, wait. Ray gets cut down almost to she's like dying, and then he comes, they kiss, yeah. and then she kind of absorbs power somehow, and he kind of heals her. Yeah, I guess yes. there's a lot of healing in this, and I just don't. It's like I Baby like Yoda out of started it, and now everybody's yeah, fucking that's out healing. of place. It's out of place for me. Yeah, it is. It, 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 and maybe the only thing that will put it in place is movies hereafter and series hereafter to bridge the gap between the Mandalorian and this now. Right. But I mean. There was no healing. Listen, Disney, give me a fucking Knights of the Old Republic movie, for Christ's sakes. Yes. Let me see Revan. Make Keanu Reeves Revan. I would love to see that. I would absolutely love to see that. So, I'm good on this, though. I'm good. And then it all ends all happy and all. And then we see the little, uh, uh, the the dudes uh, from back in the movies. Oh, the little bear-looking things. Yeah, the fucking because they were on. Uh, they were actually on Endor. Yeah, um, and the Ewoks exist on Ewok. the forest yeah. moon of Endor. So Got they it. saw all of it. They're like, "Oh, what's I'm scratching my little teddy yeah. bear ear? What the fuck is and that?" It, it just felt out of place a little bit because oh, yeah. they were like just there. It's just another fucking throwback trope, like how uh, yeah. that fucking little wrinkly exactly bitch like. hands Chewie the fucking Han Solo's medal that yeah. he gets at the end of yeah. Return of the Jedi. Mm-hmm. Hands it to him, and, and Chewie's like, "Oh," and you're just like. I mean, Chewie got one of those too, right? You didn't give yeah. fucking the Wookiee one? So let's talk, I mean... Maybe that's why they gave it to him. Yeah. I heard a lot of shit behind that. In the Return of the Jedi, Luke and Han get those medals, but Chewie didn't get one? Right. So now they did give him one, I guess? I don't know. Is that what they meant to do? Maybe. And here's the thing. Like, Who knows? The average viewer needs to know that, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, well, I guess they're they're trying to please. They're trying to people please all these, you know, Star Wars really enthusiasts. old, really old fans. Yeah. You know the old. Oh wow, the metal is back! Right? Oh, finally, oh, and they wow, gave a it... flashback. To, and and yeah. like you said, the Luke and uh, uh, Leia duel. And I I was thought cool. that I thought that was cool. Yeah. Yeah. The, to see young Mark Hamill and Carrie Fisher, and her just being like, "Dude, I can't be a Jedi. It's gonna be all shitty." Yeah. You know. I felt that though. So I felt I, I thought it was good. There were some parts I was gonna. I was like, "Oh, nostalgia," and then they do something to just fuck it yeah. up. And I'm like, eh. "Yep." Yeah. They brought a lot of nostalgia in there, and I think they brought too much. They tried to bring too yeah. much. They tried to bring way too much. And, yeah. You know, they missed the mark on a bunch of it. And, and here's the thing. they, they get in, you, know, you remember in the early movies, right, they'd get in front of that, uh, the, um, uh, you know, they'd all be the Resistance or whatever. They, they'd be plant. They weren't called the Resistance. Or wait, wait what, what are they called again? The Rebel Alliance. The Rebel Alliance, yes. They they would get in that room and all plan together where they're going to shoot the Death Star and, you know, all that stuff. And they, they did that again. So right. they all crowded around again and and did this planning sesh, which, you know, they tried to create that again. They did that a lot, though, actually, yeah. gathering together, explaining shit. It's like, we just figured this out, but me and Poe, me, Finn, and Poe have a plan already. Yeah. We've already thought this out, and it's very crazy yeah. and technical, but it just might work, maybe. But you know what's going to every fucking time. <laughs> It's like let's just go stand on the wing. One of those. What do they call them? The destroyers or, or the um, um, oh my god. The uh, we know when they have that battle on on the uh, on the outside of that ship. What what are those the ships fucking called? Fucking star destroyer. Yeah, the star destroyers. But they have like hundreds of them or whatever. Right, and they're and they riding have a My Little Ponies there. on the fucking things. Oh, what the dude. fuck, dude? Horses? I'm done. Man. That is dumb. That was stupid. I'm done. I'm good. All the brony Star Wars fans out there are just like, oh, that's so good. Mm-mm. Fucking retarded. Where did you get those? Where did they come from? Oh, they came from, oh, yeah, they came from that 
that planet. They they came yeah, from did, Endor. Yeah, but where did they? Where were they at? Like, I don't know. How they, did they shoved them into things? some fucking you know giant. It's like, oh, let's just ride them on the outside of this ship. You Who know, cares? I think the Trade Federation had it right. If you look at stormtroopers and how they shoot, and this is just a thought. Yeah, they they suck at shooting, but but the the Trade Federation from the prequels, mm-hmm. they're they're battle droids. Yep, they were quite accurate. Yeah, they were. And, and it, then stormtroopers took... aren't. And then there's a lot of. Then we figure out there's more stormtroopers in this movie that had converted to oh, like yeah. normal people. And the reason they converted behind all of this was they they had a little bit of the force in them. Oh, that's why they were like, God. "Oh, it's a feeling. We we want to we want to be good guys now. So we're gonna we're gonna not be evil. We're not gonna shoot these people. Mm-mm. We're gonna we're gonna defect. I'm good. Like and Finn they did is, too. Like Finn has to be like the only one. Like right. if you're gonna do that, Finn's the guy. Don't. Have them meet extra people, especially like another black girl. We like, have we another thought... fucking person in here now. Yeah. A- and at the end, she's sitting with Lando Calrissian, and, and she's like, I don't have a family. He's like, I don't know where my family is. And he's like, let's find them. It's like, oh, is that another fucking yeah. story arc that I'm going like, to have to try and, and, and you're going to force down my fucking throat? And that's throat? the thing. Like, that girl and Finn, you thought, okay, well, they, they brought another black girl in here, which is, you know, not a big deal, whatever. And you think, oh, they're setting it up to be another love story, right, between Finn and this girl. You know, they you did have a little bit of like tension. Yeah, they had a little sexual. I wasn't tension, expecting dude. much because he's in love bang with Ray. On screen, dude. Yeah, yeah, he's in love with Ray. Well, she wasn't a bad actress either. She was actually a pretty good actress. No, she's good. She's great. I think I just yeah. I just don't like what was written for them. No, I'm good. I just the kiss ruined it for me, dude. It ruined. You know it. what really ruined? You want me to really tell you what ruined it all for me? What was the fact that they. First of all, Luke Skywalker wasn't in the first movie. Mm-hmm. You know, they, they, they fucking run to see Han Solo and well, Ben. Was he at the end? No. Yeah, he was at the very end. Yeah. But uh, they run to see Han Solo and Ben, and Ben kill Han Solo. Right. Right? Now, why the fuck didn't they find Luke before? And then it's Luke and Leia who run up to see Han Solo get killed by Ben. Yeah. Why wasn't Luke? Why didn't he have a bigger part? It's like <sighs> that part at the, in the second movie where he where the all the – Whatever those ATSTs are firing on him, yeah, and he's just standing there and he doesn't even get touched by it. That was pretty cool. But other than, oh, the well, uh, he was the hologram. He he was right. He, he was, was projecting just, himself. Yeah, there. He was like projecting himself. Yeah, but that would force. that would have been a dope part. But which then he I didn't even cool. fight, which I thought was cool. Yeah, he was just a deterrent. He was a fucking diversion while they escaped. Yeah, yeah. out the back. Which I thought I like. I said this is making me like that movie more. I. I would watch that one again. I wouldn't but, watch the third but one. But then again. the second one has all of this weird fucking shit where they're like, our ship is in slow motion. Yeah. We can't get away from this thing that's shooting us. Yes. Our shields are coming down. We oh, have escape pods, other... but they're going to shoot them. Let's go to this fucking planet. Me and me, Finn, and you, Rose, go to this planet and get this, whatever, this fucking thief, this special thief. Yeah. yeah which Benicio Del Toro thief. is never seen again. <laughs> Just want to fucking mention that. You don't see him again. Um, yeah. I'm done. Man. I'm going to say that 15 more times. <laughs> I'm good. I'm really good. I'm really liking the other backstories. You know, Rogue One. I'm I'm liking what they're doing. You know, if you, run, if you guys really, really like Star Wars, go read about Darth Bane. Mmm. The first real good Sith Lord. Yeah. Go read about him. Very good novel. Yeah. <sighs> I just thought, okay, here, here, here's here's the other problem that I had with this. Is that, right, Darth Vader was evil pretty much. Maybe he had a little thing in his skin, but of course you would never see that because... Sure. You know, he had, a, he had his helmet thing on, right? Mm. He was evil, though, right? All the way up until the very end. He had his end, evil helmet on. When Luke was like, please help me, Father, right? And <laughs> please, then he, Father, help and me, And then shit. he, you know, Palpatine goes down, right? right. And then, Dar- you know, Darth Vader dies, right? And Darth Vader's like, I definitely killed him. Don't worry, he's dead forever. You'll yeah. never see You'll him. You'll never <laughs> see him in, like, Luke, 45 years. don't worry. Yeah, don't it's worry. Old. He'll be back way later. Dude. Go trade He'll some die new right Go trade my grandson, Benjamin Solo. Right. So he is evil, like, all the way up until the very time, right? Right. And so then they bring this new guy in who you think, okay, he's resemblance of Darth Vader. It's he's Kylo got the helmet. Ren. He's got the yeah. cloak look. But he's kind of like a girl. like a, a, gr- I he's a, a girl. He's a whiny but, little bitch. Yes, he's a little whiny little 
bitch about. Sorry, it, Adam dude. Driver. You're a great actor. But. And he's a whiny. Even when they kill, um, um. God, who's the who's the guy that they didn't? Uh, who's the guy that they, the big guy that they killed last uh, the movie before this one? They killed him in his uh, uh, chair. Uh, the guy oh, the you're head. talking about Snoke. Snoke, yeah, they killed. Well, they didn't. They both kill Snoke. Well, just just Adam or Kylo Ren did. Yeah, and yeah. so, but you know, you just have these moments where you think, oh, okay, he's gonna be good now, you know. And you never really had that with Darth Vader. Like you, they always had him like pleading to well, be good. I mean, Darth Vader did have, you know, he thought that he had killed his own wife. Yeah. So it was just like, I mean, you follow the the hatred leads to fear, fear leads to anger. Or anger leads to hate, hatred, and then it's just like yeah. full blown hatred. Yeah, there's like no in between for the force. Once you once you hate shit in the force, yeah, you're fucking you hate that shit. Right. He so just, was <laughs> Kylo just never that bad, even though he was bad. He was just torn between all of it, you know. Yeah, I they just, made it. They tried to make him this complex fucking character, but he just turned out to be like, I don't know if I can kill you, Daddy. Can you help me kill you, Daddy? <laughs> and then he fucking <laughs> did, and he's like. I'm going to throw my lightsaber away because you told me I'm a good boy, Daddy. Which was weird. Yeah, that was what a waste. Okay, and then did she get her own lightsaber? Was it yellow? She created her own lightsaber. So the thing behind all that, if you yeah. have a blue lightsaber, allegedly you're a Jedi Knight. Yeah. Uh, green lightsabers are for Jedi Guardians, and yellow lightsabers are for Jedi Sentinels. Okay. So I believe she is of that, or she so just likes the go? color. Lello. We don't want to go too long. Where does it go from here? I don't know. Like, are they going to do anything else with um, Ray or anything like that? Maybe she trains and I mean, think about it. Finn is force sensitive. All those other people that escaped the first order before, as they were stormtroopers are now force sensitive. She has a, a plethora of bodies here's, to here's train the problem into Jedi. I have in the end of the first was it the first movie that they did uh, of this series? So the Force Awakens. Force Awakens, where that kid goes out. And does that thing with well, that broom? Well, I think broom. that's that's kind of a, actually the that's thing the with second the broom? movie. Okay, he he like gets the broom or whatever it is, right? Out and there? he's holding it, and it's all shiny. Yeah, the lightsaber. What um, the hell? Like, or that's just do to imply with that? that there's people out there who are force sensitive. That the the Jedi might be close to being destroyed, but they're not gone. You know, the force is still in other people. Okay. And so I think yeah. that's what she's gonna do. I think she's gonna start her own academy, just like Luke did. Yeah, and then kill all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the Kylo did that. Anakin, however, that motherfucker's a youngling hacker, man. Yep. That motherfucker, he's playing Beat Saber with those little kids, <laughs> dude. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I did find it funny though that this t- this time's really the only time that the um, I don't know what to call them those little balls that they practice with that float um, and they practice with them with their sword and it shoots a little saber things at them. I know what they're called. I just can't. Okay, well, once you think of it, just yell it out. Yeah, I'll scream. Uh, it. <laughs> I did find it funny though that when Ray is training, right, that right. it's actually hitting her and like it's actually a challenge for her. Right. Well, <clears throat> I think they just upgraded movies, it really because it wasn't. Yeah, when Luke was doing it with the with his blast shield down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rifles. He had like a welding shield down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like he, thanks, uh, Luke. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he he got shot by it. A couple of oh, times. did he? Okay. But it, but it was it's just like a little pinch. This was like you know? intense. This was like a lot more Yeah, like... but she made it kind of... She ran over a hole, and then she jumped yeah. back over it. It's like... What'd she do? She sliced down that tree, she, and then... She sliced... Yeah, she cut down some trees, and then she landed on poor poor little stupid BB-8, or B-88, or BB... Or yeah. Masturbate, whatever his fucking name <laughs> is, and posed like, you dropped a tree on him? <laughs> what, you dro- what are you... And she's like, you blew out the things on the Millennium Falcon? I can't yeah. believe you do that. That's crazy. It's like, shut up, both of you. you so, it, and, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. there. It's there. The movie's out. I don't. <laughs> it's there, if, guys. Go see it. Yeah. Or I, just, you know, honestly, don't. Honestly, yeah, don't. But if you do, just don't. It's you know? a big old pile of poopy. Yeah. If you do, just smoke a lot of weed before you go. Yeah, in. do that, actually. Yeah. And just be like, Then wow. all the pretty colors. Oh, wow. Wow. Don't follow the story at all. Because <laughs> there's no fucking story to follow. It's dumb. Oh, well. all right. Well, all right. Well, let's wrap that up then. Palpatine right. dies permanently. Yes. Well, allegedly. Kylo dies the and then disappears. Time. She goes back dies to the second time. She goes back to where Luke grew up on yep. Tatooine. She, she takes uh, Skywalker's last name, even though she, she has buries to Luke do with and him. Leia's lightsabers in the dirt. Yes. Where, where, uh, uh, Uncle Owen and Aunt yep. Fuckface died. Yep. And, and it's then over. she has her own lightsaber. Yep. And that's it. She just hangs yeah, out. And then she she grabs her little flying device and she flies off into the sky. Yep. And there's and always she, 
you know, explodes into fireworks, and it says, I'm sorry for this movie. Yep, I'm sorry for ever making it. <laughs> and then be sure to watch after the credits because there's fucking nothing. <laughs> yeah, be sure to wait. And and I the uh, uh, real quick the opening scroll scene it wasn't that long. Yeah. Like I thought most of the time they're a little I felt longer like than maybe that. it's just longer when we were kids. Yeah, maybe you were like, damn, it was really hard to read that this. This was going really fast. Yeah, you know, it didn't go that fast this time. So. When I was a kid with mashed potato brands, a word. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> All right. Well, thank well, you. That's it, guys. Thanks, yeah, for, thanks for sticking joining around. Us. Rise of Skywalker, Rise of Shitwalker. That's yeah. what I'm going to call it now. Yeah. And um, drinking this new Belgian white ale from Aldi. Very good. If your local Aldi has Kinru it, you should Blue. pick it up. Kin Kinru Blue. That Very sounds good. like the next Jedi. Yep. That sounds Kinru like Blue. some Kinru. That sounds like some shitty little planet with kangaroos <laughs> on it. Okay. All right. Thanks, guys, for joining us. <sighs>